draw me nearer. But thou, when thou prayest, enter into thy closet, and when thou hast shut thy door, pray to thy Father which is in secret. Matthew 6-6 KJV Dick Eastman wrote a book about starting and maintaining a daily time of Bible study and prayer. He called the book The Hour That Changes the World. Eastman said he grew up singing the old and drummy nearer, yet it wasn't until his 30s he discovered the secret of spending an hour each day with the Lord in prayer, praise, Bible study, and biblical meditation. Recommended reading, Psalm 119 to 1724. When we get alone with God and open his word, we're entering a nuclear reactor, a treasury building, a communications center, a vast library, an illumined chamber, a music hall, and a dear friend's house all at once. All of that is in our closet. If we want to walk according to God's word, we mustn't pick and choose things from it, but follow all of it, accepting it cover to cover. We must follow it exclusively not change it or hold any other words as more valuable. We have a treasury of wisdom and comfort between the covers of our Bible. Don't miss the hour that can change both you and the world. When we neglect the closet of prayer, we remove ourselves from the focus of God's power. Dick Eastman, Turning Point.